Surprise! I'm a grape ape. I have purple hair. Yay! I very spontaneously decided to dye my hair purple last night, and I'm really, really loving it. I see a huge spot that I look like it looks like I missed, but that's okay. Um, I haven't dyed my hair since 2000, and I did it red then, and I know I'm looking to the side of the camera. I will never learn how to shoot in landscape mode ever, ever, ever. But um, yeah, first things first. I dyed my hair and I'm loving it. I'm so excited. This is so out of the norm for me to just do something this spontaneous and drastic. And it's not even like a temporary dye, it's a permanent dye. But I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I'm very excited. So that's first things first. But this is a haul video, and it's, I think, my first outdoor haul video for 2022, because it is a gorgeous day here in New York. It is April 15th. It is around almost 2 p.m. Yesterday was my 18th wedding anniversary, which is very exciting. And my mom and I went out today with the intention of me finding a, um, a lounge fly backpack. I've never owned one. I've really wanted one for a while. And I decided since my birthday is coming up next month, I'm going to treat myself. We just got back last weekend from uh, the New Jersey Horror Con in Atlantic City, which was so much fun. I and mean, you guys know we don't do big trips. We do a couple local trips to conventions each year. We try to do two or three, depending on you know how much we can budget in. But we had the most amazing time and I will do another video sharing more deets about that. But this is a haul video. Please enjoy the lovely crap behind me because we're like a semi hoarder house and we're trying to get rid of crap still. And yes, I am still decluttering in spite of the fact that you're about to see a haul. But anyway, so we went to um, a town about 20 minutes away. This is the third hot topic I was looking in to try to find which lounge fly backpack I wanted. There was a stitch one that I saw online that was originally the one I had my heart set on, and that one apparently is no longer available, so, wah. But then I found a really cute Winnie the Pooh one, and I was like 99% sure I was gonna get that one. I saw it at the local mall yesterday. Oh, there was a huge, huge ass bee or wasp or something. You can probably hear him in the background. He's in like a plastic bin, and if he comes near me, I may run. But anyway, um. So we saw the Winnie the Pooh one yesterday at the mall, and I was pretty sure that I was going to go with that. But I said, you know what? Let me try one more Hot Topic just to see if they have that Stitch one, because it's no longer on the website or anything. And it still isn't on the website, and they didn't have it there. And the girl there said, chances are, if it's off the website, we're probably not going to get any more of them. But they didn't have the Winnie the Pooh one I wanted, so I still don't have my lounge fly backpack. But they had an amazing sale going on. It was buy one, get two free clearance items. And you guys have seen me do at least one other haul of this. So, you know, I get like super, super amazing deals when I get to take part in these. So let me show you what I got as the loud train goes by. All right, first things first, I got this amazing dress. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, if it was an empire waist, is it pronounced empire or empire, where it's cut right below your boobs? That's my favorite cut for a dress because it hides some things and I'm talking about a big, big fat belly. This one is cut lower, so it's not cut exactly where I would want it to be, but it's really soft, it's stretchy, it's not form-fitting. It is in an extra large. Oh, I didn't even know this was like a licensed thing. This is a Studio Ghibli. I think it's Ghibli, Kiki's Delivery Service. I had no idea this was a licensed product. I just thought it was a really cute dress with bread on it. But um, but it's this really cute dress with this adorable collar and this these cute little like cap sleeves. And see, it's cut more at the waist, but how cute is this? And it's got like the little lace detailing at the bottom. And it has pockets, you guys, but it's got bread products. Oh, okay, I see like a little girl and a cat on this bread wreath. Where is it? I can see it on the back of the dress. Where is it on the front? Um, right here. Oh, it's by the fold. So let me show you on the back. I'm not aware of anything. I've never watched any Studio Ghibli or Ghibli films, which is why I don't know how to pronounce it. But I know they're responsible for like Totoro. My, uh, I think it's, what is it? My, my neighbor Totoro? Anyway, but there's the little girl and um, it looks like a kitty or a bunny. So I'm assuming that's Kiki. One of them is Kiki, but it is a gorgeous dress and it has pockets, which I love. 
So I'm obsessed. And this was originally priced at $44.90, but it was on sale for $26.99. So keep in mind, $26.99, that's all I paid for all three of these items because it was buy one, get two free. And I had $5 in rewards money because it was coming up on the anniversary of my joining the Hot Topic Rewards program. So I got $5 off. So I literally paid $23 and a penny for that dress and the next two things. So the next thing I found I'm obsessed with, you guys know I love little twin stars. They only had this in a large, but it's a fairly decent size large. And look at it's on blue. Granted, not sky blue, but still a gorgeous blue. And this t-shirt was originally $26.90 and it was $19.99, but again, free. So I'm super stoked about that. I love it so much. And I also got this tea that is just a Hot Topic brand tea that was originally $24.90 and priced at $16.99, again, free. And I love tie-dye, as you can see. This is just a plain white Wonder Woman shirt that I tie-dyed myself. It just had the gray caps, not, is this cap sleeves? That's not cap sleeves, but anyway, um, I love tie-dye. And I found this one that says, love is love. And I love the pastels. And again, free. So I paid $23 and a penny for a dress and two shirts because I got the $5 off. So it would have been $26.99 plus tax, but I got, or $26.90, I think I said, plus tax, but I got the $5 off. And then I get another $5 coupon for my birthday on May 10th, which means if I can hold out a little while, I can get $5 off on my lounge fly backpack. And I think the Winnie the Pooh one that I'm eyeing is pretty new. So I'm not super concerned that they're gonna sell out of it. If I feel like they're gonna, I'll just buy it and you know use the $5 another time. It's not like I don't live in Hot Topic, but yay. Okay, before we even went, no, we did go to Hot Topic first. Then we went to Christmas tree shops. And if you guys are familiar with Christmas tree shops, you know that they are part of the same parent company as Bed Bath & Beyond and Harmon, which is like a beauty supply place. So apparently they have always carried Harmon merchandise in Christmas tree shops, but they're not going to going forward. They're like phasing it out a little bit at a time. So they had bins galore with 90% off products. Okay, so yeah, I got this mirror. It says, shoot for the stars. It's got a little plastic cover over it, so let me peel that off so you can see the design a little better. And now a neighbor's mowing their lawn, but that's okay. How pretty is that? It's just plastic, but so cute. And this was marked at $6.99, so yes, your girl got this for $0.69. Cents. I'll just show you. It has the regular mirror and then the five times magnification mirror. So I mean, really, who? And it actually even has, I think, like a little magnetic seal. See that little spot down there? I feel like that's a magnet. Yeah, because there's a little piece at the top too, so I feel like it's a magnet closure. But are you kidding me? For 69 cents, and it's a fairly large mirror, but it's actually, because it's plastic, it's really light, so it's not gonna weigh down my purse. So, okay, so we got that. Then I found the lipstick that I'm wearing right now, which is very gothy for me, I'm not gonna lie. I don't generally go with dark colors like this. But you guys, it is an Ultra Last Instant Color number 19 from Essence, which is a really good brand. I usually buy Essence stuff um, at Ulta. But it's a really, really pretty color that's pretty true to what's on my lip. But okay, check this out. This was $4.99. It was reduced to $2.48. So yes, your girl paid 24 cents. They didn't even round it up to 25 like most places would have. So I paid 24 cents for this lipstick. And it is so pretty. The only thing I'm noticing is that it gets, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it gets kind of like granular, like grainy in the middle. And like you can see like you can't fill your whole lips up with it. So sometimes you see that little pink peeking in the middle. But you know what? I really like it. I don't mind reapplying. It's really a nice formula. It's lasting pretty well. And again, 24 cents, come on. It matches my hair. I had to celebrate my new hair. And then, yes, I bought lip smackers. And I know I really don't need to. I've been on a lippy no-buy for so long. Not necessarily lipsticks, although I really only buy lipsticks if they're super, super cheap or if I have like a free coupon like CVS Rewards or something. 
And I definitely did not need more lip balm. The only one I've bought, I think in about a year, was the matcha tea one from the Dollar Tree. So it was $1.25. It was one of those really cute ones that looks like the cup. And interestingly enough, I did, I think, do a review of it on here. It has no flavor, which is strange for Lip Smacker, but it does smell amazing. It smells exactly like matcha tea. And it's, of course, the usual moisturizing formula of Lip Smacker. But anywho, they're blue. So I couldn't help myself. $5.49 for three. So yes, they were 54 cents or possibly 55, I don't remember. But um, I mean, come on, how can I not? You know, they're crayons, they're blue, they're adorable. They're listed as blueberry blue, jelly bean blue, and cornflower. So I don't know what the flavors will be necessarily. I mean, I would assume one is gonna be blueberry or like raspberry and then the jelly bean one. I guess blueberry blue, even though it's listed as three words, blueberry blue would probably be a blueberry flavor, you would think. Um, maybe jelly bean blue will actually taste like, you know, like say maybe a raspberry jelly bean, because I don't think they do two blueberries. And then cornflower is just a color, so I have no idea what that's gonna taste like. But again, for 54 cents or 55 cents, I had to have them. I'm gonna be good though. I'm gonna get rid of some stuff today because I do have to continue my declutter big time. And then um, last but not least, we went to Old Navy. Now, I think I've shared with you guys that your girl has the, is signed up for the free Old Navy rewards. Um, I think they call them good rewards. Well, they just get good rewards. And then like the Old Navy, at Old Navy, they call it something else, but it's all the same parent company. It's the same reward program. It's free to join. You do not have to have a credit card. Um, for any of the stores. Um, the four that are included are Old Navy, The Gap, Banana Republic, and Athleta. But um, I do happen to have a Gap card, and I told that story in a past video. Long story short, I opened the account specifically because I wanted to buy something and get a discount on it that day. But having the Gap reward card is really, like that credit card has really been beneficial to me because up until now, this is the first month since I've had it and I feel like I got it in maybe October or November, I've gotten a postcard in the mail that says, if you make five purchases anywhere outside their parent companies, you get a bonus of 2,000 points on your account, which is $20 in free money to spend at any of those four stores. So I've done that every month. I've literally sometimes charged as little as like $1.50 or $2. I remember when we were at PA Horror Con last month, I bought a lighter at 7-Eleven for like $2.50 and I put it on my Gap card because it counted towards those five purchases. This month I did not get that postcard, so I don't know if it's an all the time thing or it was just, you know, if it's only offered periodically or whatever. I'll, I'll still probably make five purchases on, purchases on it, I'm getting ahead of myself, um, just to see if I get the bonus 20, you know, $20 worth of credit. If I don't, not a big deal, because I just make little purchases that I know I'm gonna pay the credit, credit card off in full at the end of the month regardless. So I'll do it as an experiment, I'll let you guys know. But anyway, so I went with my mom to Old Navy and as it turns out, when I bought my jeans a couple weeks ago that I shared that video with you, I found out that I had registered, I guess, under my cell number and my home phone number. So when I checked to see what how many rewards points I had on my cell number, apparently I had $2. So I was like, oh my God, no, no, no. No, I know I have an account that has like $70 or $60 or whatever whatever it was, I think it was $63 in rewards. So I go check my house number and that had the $63. So I used that to buy my jeans. Um, but since I knew I had $2 on the other account and I wasn't gonna use that account in the future, I used that towards this. It's a really pretty, just like kind of jersey material. I mean, it's basically cotton, but um, nice long sleeve, very lightweight, like soft rose t-shirt. And this was only four bucks, you guys, $3.97. So what I did is because I knew that I was gonna be, you know, not using my cell number anymore for rewards, I went ahead and used up the $2 that I had. And my mom was with me and she was nice enough to pay the remaining $2 in tax on this shirt. And um, I really don't own any pink tops that I can think of. Like if I do, definitely nothing like that. I may have like one pink t-shirt, but I really don't wear pink. But because it's not pink pink, it's like a rose. It was really flattering on and it 
you know, it just, it's soft as could be. I love those kinds of shirts because you can wear them pretty much throughout the whole year. They're great layering pieces. Like I'm already, you know, imagining wearing it under my overalls and how cute it's gonna look. But then you could wear it under a cardigan or you could just wear it with like, you know, right now I'm wearing like, um, I don't know if they're technically, they're not really Bermuda shorts. They're denim shorts that come like to my knee and they have like a cuff that's like stitched, folded up. Let me see. I'll show you what I'm talking about if I can. Okay, let me see if I can get back far enough that you can see. Don't mind my ass. Oh, I really can't. Shoot. But this is what they look like. Okay, there you can see. Um, but I mean, with a pair of shorts like this, on a day like today, when it's like probably in like the 60s, it's perfect to wear with a long sleeve top like that. I had my denim on earlier this morning, and as it got warmer, I took it off. But um, I mean, you could wear a top like that with anything, with a long skirt, with a short skirt, with shorts, with jeans, with leggings, with whatever. And for $4, which technically worked out to be $2, which technically for me worked out to be $0 because my mom treated, you can't go wrong. So all together, I mean, we're talking about $23 in um, $23 in Hot Topic, four bucks technically in Old Navy plus tax, but whatever, we'll just round it to four. So that's $27 and then 55 plus 25 is what, 70? And then 70, and then like $1.40 in Christmas tree shops. So what are we talking about? We're talking about like $28 and change for three shirts, a dress, a lipstick, three lip balms, a mirror. Yeah, and that's it. Can you do better than that? I don't think so. Like, <laughs> I really don't. And the good thing is that with the exception of the lip balms, with which, granted, I certainly did not need. The lippy is great because I don't have a color remotely like this. The mirror is going to be great to keep in my pocketbook because it's, again, it's lightweight and I love that it's magnifying. Because when you reach a certain age, ladies, you know what I'm talking about, you get those incorrigible chin hairs. So for nothing else, to be able to see and pluck those fuckers out of my chin, it's worth it to have a magnifying mirror. I don't generally pluck my eyebrows, which is probably evident. <laughs> Unless I get like a really long or weird stray one, I don't pluck them for shape. These are just my natural brows. I don't have that kind of time to like groom that way. Um, but yeah, I, I think I did really, really outstanding. And um, my mom actually treated me the Christmas tree shop st stuff too. So really all that came out of my pocket was twenty three oh one at um, at Hot Topic. So I just had to share that amazing haul and show you my new do. It's weird. I feel so different. Like, I feel like I can pull off a goth lip now. Where when it, whereas when I was my blonde self, like I would have been like, ooh, shy and mousy. It's weird how just something as simple as a change in hair color changes your whole perspective on yourself. Like I feel much more confident. I've had so many compliments like on my Facebook and my Insta. You guys have been so lovely. Those of you who follow me on my personal accounts. Um, well, Insta, it's just at Persevering Star. It's always in the Dropbox, but any of you can follow me on that. I do keep my circle tight on Facebook, not going to lie, because I've been burned by some people. But I do, of, of course, as you guys know, also in the Dropbox, have a Persevering Star fan page, which feels so weird because you guys aren't my fans, you're my friends. But um, that's what people call it, you know, for lack of a better term. But uh, I didn't post any pictures on that yet. So this is my first, you know, for a lot of you guys, the first look at, you know, my 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 purple self but um i'm really 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 glad i did this and shout out to abby who's one of my best friends i saw her at the convention and she had mentioned to me because i'd been toying with the idea of dyeing my hair blue but i've been told by a lot of friends that blue is a lot more work and maintenance and it's best to go to a salon and it's just a little more complicated a color it washes out faster or something um and she had these two um crap I can't remember the brand but um she had these two purple dyes and her hair right now is blue and gorgeous so she had said to me well I have these purple dyes do you want me to bring them for you when we go to the con and I was like yes please that would be amazing and last night at like eight o'clock I just said you know what fuck it I'm just gonna do my hair like I wasn't even thinking about doing it and then I went into the bathroom and I saw the boxes and I'm like you know what screw it I'm just gonna do it I don't want to think about it I don't want to always be Carrie that worries about all the things I just want to have some fun
hair is hair, knock wood, it'll grow back, you know, but right now I'm really loving it. I really am. I've been told it makes my eyes pop more, which makes me so incredibly happy because my daddy had blue eyes and I lost my dad when I was 26. So every time I look at my eyes, I think of my father and the fact that they're more noticeable now is just an incredibly heartwarming thing to me. It makes me feel really good. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to share this with you guys and obviously my super fantastic haul that I'm so thrilled with. And I'm not going to lie, the dress is a little snug on me. My belly is big. I have weight to lose, but you know what? Fuck that. Life is short. I felt good in the dress. Do I love how I look in it? No, but I'm working on losing weight and it fits. It's definitely the proper size. You know, it's not too tight on me. Um, it doesn't really like hug my f belly fat, which is good. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hide it either, but I felt good in it. I love that it has pockets and you know, I'm, I'm just really, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good place today and I'm still freaking out about that ginormous bug. Can you guys hear this thing? It's huge. My mother has like this plastic Sterlite bin that's like standing up vertically and it doesn't have a lid on it, but it's like this bug can't find his way out and I feel really bad. There's a huge opening, so I'm not gonna like move anything or touch anything because I'm petrified of like anything that can sting me. Ooh, it's really freaking me out. But um, you know, he's trying to get out of there and I don't know why he's having such a hard time because it's really, there's like this much open space for him to get out of. I hope you guys can hear him. He's really loud. He's freaking me the fuck out though. So I'm going to go inside in a minute. But um, I just wanted to share all that with you guys because you're my peeps and I love you. And you know, why would I not share joy? I share enough misery with you guys. And there's misery too. There's semi misery. I'll get into that in another video. I'm, I've got some shit on my mind that I will definitely share more with you guys about probably next week because there's like stuff involved with the thing that is going to progress next Wednesday and after next Wednesday I can talk more probably actually after next like Friday or something I could probably talk more about it it's a little health thing it's not I'm not in any danger as far as I know fingers crossed fingers toes all the things crossed but um yeah something semi scary is going on but it could turn out to be absolutely nothing so I will share more with you when I know more but um it's nice to just be able to breathe and feel good about myself and go, hey, you know, I like my hair. I got some cool shit today. I'm feeling good. So anyway, I love you guys so, so much. I will be back soon with more stuff and have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye guys.